everybody, and welcome again to Faith on Friday Extra. This series is all about highlighting people, topics, and businesses that I hope you will find interesting, entertaining, motivating, but always encouraging. And I'm your host, Ricky Smith. Today, I want to introduce you to one of my favorite people. His name is really Dr. LaDre Weathersby. Dr. Dre, yes, I said it. Dr. Dre is a PhD in education. He is a coach, conference speaker, author, and a business owner. The only thing he's not is somebody's mom. So y'all say hello to my friend, Dr. Dre. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Dre, thanks so much for joining me. I appreciate you doing this. Oh, no problem. It's my pleasure. All right, so let's just jump in. Now, I know that you are live, if you will, from Atlanta, Georgia, Absolutely. where you are the founder of the Better Life Institute. So yes. talk to me a little bit. What is the Better Life Institute all about? Um, Better Life, the Better Life Institute, really simple, is the only premier adult education program, self-education program, because truth be told, most of us were never sat down and learned how to really have the life we want. True. Now, is it is it for life in general or is it, it things in particular? What kind of things as an adult learner would we learn at the Better Life Institute? Well, the foundation of the Better Life Institute, it's, there are two sevens, the seven areas of life and then the seven ages of life. Oh. The seven areas are finances, health, uh, mental and emotional um, spiritual, mm. social, because we don't have enough fun True. in our career. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I, and it, um, I did the in, the intellectual and emotional together, but they're se they're separate too. Okay. Um, awesome. Then you got the seven stages of life. You got the kid. You know, mm. you got the baby, the kid, the teenager, the young adult, the seasoned adult. You know, the the adult, the seasoned adult, and then the senior. And oh, so okay. each of those have seven, they have, have different things going on. And right. those seven areas of life are different and they all come together and you don't have a choice but to deal with them together. So so with your institute then, do you deal with like, say you deal with a middle-aged person, do you have to go back and deal with the issues and concerns that they had as a child to get them going forward or how does that work? Well, sometimes there is a component of, of going back. I mm -hmm. am not the psychotherapy person. <laughs> okay. Um, but I do believe in giving people the awareness mm -hmm. and giving them a little bit of meat, so to speak, or, right. you know, some substance. And then they can go back and deal with a licensed professional who specializes. Because sometimes it's just simply realizing, you know, as a six-year-old, I, I realized that I didn't feel like I was valued. Right, right. And that will carry on through every stage afterwards until we come to the point of realizing, wait a minute. So the reason that I got divorced at 40, the reason I had the bad experience, the bad relationships at 30, mm. the reason I really lost that job at 26, the mm -hmm. root of it is I didn't feel valued. Wow. So, so much of who we are now has to do with where we came from and it can also affect where we're going. Absolutely. Wow, that's insane. So where did the name come from, the Better Life Institute? Well, there's a scripture in the Bible. Mm -hmm. uh, my big brother Jesus said, I have come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. All right. And if you look at different translations of that word, if you look at that word abundantly in the, uh, in the Greek, one of the meanings, one of the translations is better. Okay. There's another scripture that says, greater is he that is in me than me. he that is mm -hmm. in the world. And one of one of the elders in my old church talked about how that word greater as an English teacher just simply means there is no end. OK, so it's a perpetual progression. So Jesus says you get this life more abundantly because I've given you greater. All right now. And y'all may have heard it. And he's a preacher. I didn't put that ah! in. There. It's a thing. <laughs> I got to shake that mic. <laughs> Dre, but all these things are so necessary and so important, and it all makes up who we are. But we, how easy is it that we neglect one part or another to focus on the part that we like better than the other? Yes, yes. And of course, what that does is that creates imbalance. Yes. You know, you know um, I was having a conversation with my now ex. <laughs> Sorry. 
I almost the whole almost that, that's a whole nother show, Dre. Oh, another one. But we were having this conversation about integrity. Mm. And I think I mentioned it to you when we talked the last time. Sometimes we're so focused on the part of integrity that says, check the list. Yes. Do everything that the that the moral law requires. But mm. the, I think the deeper revelation of integrity says, take care of everything. All right now. Because integrity deals with being whole. And for so long, we focused on our finances, but we forgot our spirituality. Mm -hmm. you know, or, or we have been so focused on getting the career, the business going and get it, and get it popping, so to speak, right. that we totally neglected our family. Mm -hmm. And so many issues in our world today are the result of, yes, we had money, but they didn't have love. That's true. That's true. Because money can't buy love. Not at all. Not at all. But we think so. I take the money. Well, you know, <laughs> let's let's just be real, shall we? <laughs> the Bible also says that money answers all things. Let's yeah. just put it out there. So that means there are some questions that only money can answer. I'm just saying. Absolutely. But now watch it since you brought it up. Uh -huh. I, I remind people that, you know, when we read the, the scriptures, we got to be careful because that word all is in italics. Okay, now. That's mm. one. And, th and then number two, it says money answers. It doesn't say money solves. That's exactly right. But it does provide an answer. That's a whole nother conversation. <laughs> That's a whole <laughs> preach, doctor. Oh! <laughs> in my shining now. <laughs> I know. Now, so Dre, if people wanted to get in touch with you for coaching or even just to get in touch with the Better Life Institute, how would they go about finding you? Well, I try to keep it simple. Mm -hmm. um, so the Facebook page is Better Life Institute. Um, right. The YouTube channel is Better Life Institute. Um, better life coach with an A because somebody had bet her already. Okay, so it's better. Yeah, better. Because you in the ATL, so it's better. No, I'm from Chicago. It's still better. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, I try to keep it easy. Um, I have a, a, a business page on Facebook, Dr. Ledre Weathers with the Better Life Coach. Okay. But I try to keep it simple so it's Better Life Institute, some version of it. All over. Yeah. Okay. And we're also going to make sure to put all of that information down in the description below, because really, if you want to talk to Dr. Dre, you really need to get in touch with him because he is a wealth of information. But now is the fun part. We are going to play a game. Dre, we are going to be playing this or that. Okay. So I'm it. going to give you two things and you just have to pick which one you like the better. It's all in an effort to get to know you better. You ready? Yeah. All right. Here we go. My little card together. All right. McDonald's or Burger King? Burger King. Batman or Captain America? Captain America. Going to the movies or movies at home? Mm. Movies at home. Really? Why was that so hard? Oh, my gosh. Because I very rarely watch TV. I mean, you saw mm. my office. Okay, you know, I understand. And if I'm going to watch a movie, then please let it be something that's going to, I, I can pull some stuff to coach better. Yeah, I just. Okay, I feel you. All right, so make the call or send the text. Send the text. Ah, Snickers or Three Musketeers? Three Musketeers. <laughs> dress up or dress down? Dress down. National uniform should be basketball shorts, slides, and a t-shirt. And I think I hear a lot of people saying, amen. Okay, <laughs> how about cats or dogs? Dogs. Ah, handwritten note or send an email? Handwritten is good, too. That is good. Thanksgiving or New Year's Eve? New Year's Eve. Mm. Fry it or grill it? Grill it. Really? Yeah. I am shocked, clutching my pearls, that you didn't say fry. My feelings are hurt. Hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Go back. There okay. are two exceptions there. Okay. Fish. Non-salmon fish must be fried must be, hard, thank you. Thank and you. I need some hot sauce to go with it. All right, all right. Thank you for clearing that up, because I was about to, you know, this whole thing was about to be shut down. All right, morning person or night owl? Night owl. Oh, I can see that. And finally, what is your favorite Olympic sport? Hmm. I like track. 
Most people do. You all, this is Dr. LaDre Weathersby. He is an awesome man of God, as well as just a talented individual. You will want to get to know him. Hey, while you're over here, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Give us a thumbs up, you all, and leave us a comment. We really want to hear from you. So, Dre, what do you have to finally give our viewers today? Hmm. When life is pretty good, I know the health is okay. I know the bank account is okay. I know the relationships are okay. I know our spiritual walk is okay. I know everything's okay. But a better life is always best. 50,000 is better than 20. 100,000 is better than 50. 250,000 is better than 100. But to be at peace with everybody, a better life is best. Y'all heard it here first. Dr. LaDre Weathersby, thank you so much for joining us. And everybody, we will see you next time on Extra. Yeah.